What's going on guys, JR Sports Cards coming at you with another video today. Sorry I haven't posted much this week. I finally have some time. So I'm gonna pre-record like a bunch of videos. Um, so I'll be posting for the next at least 10 days straight. Um, but today's topic, you guys saw in the title, the PSA shutdown. One of the biggest pieces of news in the sports card world right now, the number one grader for sports cards, Potentially, you could argue BGS is number one grader, um, you know, number one preferred for sports cards, but PSA, really, PSA has taken um, a leap in preference. Uh, it's it's crazy. They are going to be, um, you know, not grading cards. They're not accepting any new submissions until July 1st, potentially. So that's three months. It could be longer than July 1st. Um, and so first off, I'm going to go over, like, why, why is this happening? what's gonna you know what this means for the value of cards and then you know what are some alternatives you can do to try to grade your cards so first off why is this happening well they've had too many submissions come in where they just can't handle the amount of submissions come in um if you order you know a, a 10 day um return order you're not getting that back in 10 days it's more six to eight months which is just crazy because they have so many cards graded and you can only grade so many cards right um so it's that that's kind of like why they're shutting down. They just don't have the time. They don't have the capacity. They don't have the 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 work. The they don't have the workforce to grade to to take care of the demand that's happening. Especially that they're the number one in grading. Um, so what does this mean for for in terms of PSA card value? Well, there's going to be a lot of um, you know PSA card returns coming back. So I don't think we're going to be seeing that much change in value because I know I've been seeing a lot of things circulate. Oh, we're going to see a really big rise in the value of PSA cards now that people can't submit anymore. I disagree because there's been just so many cards submitted before that they're all going to be coming back. Um, and so it, it's just going to be like nothing really ever happened um, because just there's no, no, no new submissions, but everything that was submitted is going to be coming back. Therefore, more PSA cards can be pumped into the market. Um, so I don't see their value increasing like some uh, other people that I've seen uh, do think. But um, I could be wrong on that. But again, just with you know all the outgoing submissions right now, we won't. I don't think we'll see a value change in in PSA cards in general. Now, maybe if it's past July first, maybe going into August or September, potentially we'll see something. Um, it kind of just depends on. The rate of you know how the rate of uh, shipments back to people for PSA. So if people if PSA is getting like a lot of the cards back to uh, the collectors or people that submitted early, and then they're still not accepting any new submissions, and it's kind of like slowing down how like the amount they're giving back to people. Potentially, we'll see a rise in the value of graded cards as a whole, the market as a whole. But right now, I don't see there you know I don't see any lo logical reason for there to be an increase in the value of. Uh, PSA cards. Now, I think potentially in the short term there will be because PSA is in the news, so uh, <laughs> the people will have their eyes on graded cards more. But um, as you know, this news dwindles into something that you know was you know last week. So going into next week, I think the market just kind of come back down to where it was because there's definitely a rise in PSA cards right now. So you want to get your cards graded. What can you do? So there's you know obviously the two biggest options right now. Well, the biggest the the, the biggest option right now is going to be BGS, but Again, you're going to be waiting a really long time to get your cards back from BGS. Tougher grading systems. A 9.5 in BGS is pretty much equivalent to a PSA 10. Um, a 10 BGS is absolutely insane. Um, you can uh, get subs on the label, which I recommend. I think there's just more value, but it could also hurt the value because if you get a 9.5 with no 10 subs, um, it definitely sells for less than if you get a 9.5 and it has 10 subs. So um, that's a risk that you need to gauge for yourself. I'm like, it really depends. I mean, if you're really confident in your card, um, it's gonna be you know nine and a half with tens uh, with some ten subs, then sub, then submit with subs. But if you're you know don't want to risk it, then just you know submit without subs. It's really up to you and, and kind of like what you want to do with that. And then of course there is HGA, that is the newest grading company. Now it is really hard to be able to submit your cards. To HGA because they only take twenty five hundred a week because they want to they don't want to fall into the trap that PSA and BGS did. What happened with B PSA and BGS? They grew too quickly that the business started running them. They lost control of their business. They lost, um, you know, the, you know, they, they couldn't meet the demand um, comparative to the resources and the assets they had. So, um, you know, they lost control. They're out of the driver's seat. 
business is running them. For HEA, they are trying to stay in the driver's seat. They are managed much better, in my opinion. Um, yes, it is annoying that they're only taking a certain amount of cards. I think it's like the 2,500 cards. But they are you're going to get your cards back when they say you're going to get their cards back. Um, and so that's really big. Another thing about HGA, you have the subs as well. And the labels are super, super cool. I love the labels. Um, you can, you can match to the color of the card or like the type of card. The best I've seen were like the marble optic cards. So like the, mar the marble, like Herbert to a rookies. Um, the label match for that is insane. The cards are beautiful. The labels are beautiful. So I love HEA and people accept it as a legitimate grading company and the value of the HEA cards are, are, are great. Some I've seen even bigger than PSA. Now there's speculations that maybe HEA themselves are pumping up those cards, but um, I, there's no proof of that. So I don't want to say, you know, yeah, like that's what they're doing because we have no idea. Um, but I do love the HGA slabs. Again, I think they're better run. You're going to get your cards back when they say you're going to get your cards back. It's just really tough to sub. So if you're really committed to subbing your cards or grading your cards, you have to get in the waiting line. Um, I think it's Fridays, but I could be wrong. I think it's a Fridays you get into like the, the line, the virtual line for um, the HGA, and then it randomly picks you an order to when you can submit your card. You can submit up to five cards. So... Um, again, you can't submit, you know, a huge batch of batch of your stuff, but you just know you're going to get it back when you when they say you're going to get it back. Um, I'm not sure how much it is per card. Didn't check on that because uh, I personally don't do too much grading myself. I kind of like either like to buy graded or just sell raw for other people to grade for other people to grade. Um, so yeah, HGA is going to become a big option now. Of course, it's going to be even harder to get your cards in the HGA. Maybe HGA will take this opportunity to. Um, grow a bit um, in terms of maybe they'll accept a little bit a little more cards hire more people to grade I mean I know they do AI grading so um, it's a little different in how, how they do their grading but um, HEA is going to be your option now you're going to see things like uh, I think it's PWCC maybe let's look this up I think it's I think that's the company I could be wrong PWCC Vol. oh maybe that's just a marketplace I don't know if they actually uh, grade okay they don't grade why did I think, is it SGC then? Um, yeah, okay, so SGC is also, and BCCG, those two grading companies, obviously still lower end, but I think they're gonna be a little more accepted now the PSA cards um, aren't gonna be, you know, you can't submit to PSA. So SGC, BCCG are gonna be other two, two other grading options, very low end. You're not really getting too much extra value in your card. I personally don't like how the slabs look. Again, just my opinion. I have a Debbie Downer opinion on uh, on those, you know, two companies in, in terms of grading. I, I think if you're grading vintage, then SGC is fine. Like that, that's whatever. Um, and if you're grading really low end cards, BCCG is fine. But I wouldn't send your your better stuff. I wouldn't send Herbert stuff. I wouldn't send Burrow. I wouldn't send, you know, your Lamelo, Anthony Edwards, any of that new Prism stuff. Um, I just do HGA, BGS, and, and you know, I know you can't do PSA, but, you know, stick to HGA, stick to BGS, stick to what you know, stick to what the market um, wants. And I think still, I, you know, saying, you know, being so high in HGA, I still think it's a risk because we don't know how it's really going to pan out in terms of um, the market. Uh, we don't, we don't know. And I don't want to sit here and be like, you know, HGA is the future, HGA is the next thing, send all your cards to HGA because it could just tank in value, although I doubt it. Um, there is that risk where, you know, BGS and PSA have a more solidified reputation um, and uh, trust in the market. So again, it's, it's a, you know, it's really up to you. Let me know what you guys think about the whole PSA shutdown. I think it's smart. Do you think it's smart? Where are you going to be grading your cards? H, are you HGA? Are you BGS? Are you team, you know, SCG, SGC, BCCG? Let me know down in the comments, guys. If you enjoy this type of content, make sure to drop a comment, like, and subscribe. Tomorrow's video is going to be a controversial one. We're going back to NBA Top Shot and why I may have been correct about NBA Top Shot and it's holding its, and not holding its value. But, guys, I'm going to leave you there. I will see you tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.